This is class 296 from the Half Arabian Anglo Arabian English Show Hack Championship at the 2023 Scottsdale Arabian Horse Show. The riders come in like they are here at the normal trot, but in this competition there are the three basic gates, which are walk, trot, and canter. And then within those three gates, you have collected and extended for each of them, as well as the hand gallop. As you watch the video, I'll point out when the announcer has told them to change the gate or go from trot to canter, you know, canter to hand gallop, that sort of thing. This class was held in what's called the Equidome at Westworld in Scottsdale, Arizona. The Scottsdale Arabian Horse Show is held at Westworld every February, and it's actually the largest Arabian horse show in the world. I'll be uploading a lot more videos from this show, so uh, if you are interested, please click the like button for this one and subscribe to my channel, as well as click the bell icon and you'll be notified when new videos come out. Right here, they are asked to do the collected trot. So that's where you apply more pressure to the reins, but you do still keep adding pressure with your legs to keep the horse moving forward. According to the Arabian Horse Association, the horse shouldn't stiffen or lose rhythm or cadence when asked to collect, nor should the horse pull downward, drop his shoulders, and lose connection from the hindquarters when asked to extend. And not losing connection from the hindquarters is why you keep the pressure on with your legs. You'll also notice the riders do a sitting trot instead of posting at the collected trot. Here they're asked to transition into the normal canter. As I watched those three riders transition, I thought they all looked very smooth, which is how they're supposed to be. According to the judging standard, they're supposed to be smooth and almost have an elastic look to them. You can see the inside rider here is a little bit faster. That's not necessarily a plus or a minus since it's not a race and the natural gait of each horse varies slightly. And now they're transitioning to the collected canter. So they'll be shortening, shortening the reins, adding leg, just like with the trot. And you can see the, the horses are definitely going slower than what they had been. One of them broke down into a trot for a couple of steps, which is easy to have happen, but not something you want to have happen. And now they transition from the collected canter into the extended canter. There is one gait that's faster than the extended canter, which is the hand gallop, and we'll be seeing that here shortly. That's always a crowd favorite. Right there, you can see how he's extending a lot more than they had been at the collected. And as you watch the background, it goes by a lot faster than when they were doing the collected canter. Right here, they ease into the hand gallop and you'll see the background goes by even faster than at the extended canter. By the way, the reason I don't have any audio from the event itself is because there's music playing and I'll get a copyright strike from YouTube. So I have to uh, dub in my own music and then do my narration. And now you can see they're transitioning down into the walk. This is the normal walk. The judging standard says that the normal walk should be regular and unconstrained, moving energetically and calmly forward. I'm not sure how you move energetically and calmly at the same time, but there you have it. It says the, uh, the horse should stride with lively, regular steps. And here they are asked to go down to the collected walk. And that's where the strides are shorter and should be higher than the normal walk. According to the judging standard, the head approaches vertical, but should never move behind it. And pacing, in other words, going too fast, is a serious flaw. And now you can see they've transitioned into the canter, and this is the normal canter. The horse is supposed to move into the normal canter without hesitation, and they should have a moderately arched neck suited to their own conformation. The horse should also maintain light contact on the bit and show impulsion, balance, and engagement. And now they've been asked to do the extended canter, so they should be lengthening their stride and getting a little more oomph from the hindquarters. 
the judging standard doesn't actually have the word oomph. Uh, they say impulsion, but eh, I kind of prefer my term. Man, it's just poetry in motion, isn't it? It's so enjoyable to watch that hopefully you'll want to share this with friends and family. So don't be shy about that. And now we're back to the normal trot, just like when they first came into the arena. Well, have you picked out a favorite yet? At this show, every single horse is gorgeous, and I don't know how they pick a winner or reserve champion, but uh, oftentimes it's a unanimous between all the judges as to who the winner is. We have an unscheduled time of slowing down to the walk because uh, we have a timeout by this rider. Each rider is allowed one timeout, but that gives us a chance to uh, slow things down and get a good look at all the riders and their horses. So the timeout is over and we are back to the normal trot. And now a little more of the extended trot and you can see how that one is really striding out like it should be. And now from the extended trot all the way down to the collected trot. And one last time with the regular trot before they're called in to the lineup to have the judge walk by and look all of them over. As you can see, there were a lot of horses in this class, uh, 18 in total, and 10 of them will walk away with a ribbon. At this show, just to get in the top 10 is a big deal, but to get reserve champion or especially champion is really special. And some big smiles for the judges, and I'm sure there's a lot of relief uh, after all the pressure of coming into a, a world-class class like this. And again, this gives you a chance to try and pick out one of your favorites. We'll see if the judges agree with you or if the judges are wrong. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. These judges are amazing, and like I said, a lot of times there's a unanimous champion out of a big group like this, which just always amazes me. before announcing the reserve champion and champion, they give a green ribbon out to each of the top 10 participants. But now onto the dramatic moment when they announce reserve champion and champion. And here is your reserve champion, Fire Redemption with rider Jim Lowe in the saddle. Now it's time for the horse to get a wreath and the horse and rider to get their picture taken along, usually with uh, trainers, family, friends, owners, and it's always a happy moment. Now we swing over to see our champion, which is Dance with Nirvana and Josh Shino in the saddle. If you did not pick this one as the winner, it's probably my fault because I try to get as much of all the different riders as I can and I just simply missed getting Josh on his horse uh, except for one small little scene. Then to make matters worse, when I went to push the record button to show the victory lap for the reserve champion and champion, I didn't push it hard enough so I apologize profusely. But these guys get the last laugh as they are in the winner's circle for this prestigious event. Before they could finish taking pictures, the announcer said we have an owner alert running into the arena and a very happy owner right there. and a friendly congratulatory exchange between the two winners in this amazing class. Hey, if you want to see what goes on behind the scenes in training for a horse show, you can click here to see this class's winner, Josh Shino, working horses at his beautiful training facility in Scottsdale.